The SAT subject tests, formerly known as the SAT2s, are really easy to deal with so long as you don't forget about them. The basic idea is that these things are nothing like the SAT1 and the ACT. They have nothing to do with strategy, there's no craziness involved, they're just tests of material. They're an hour long, and if you take US history, you're asked, what year did George Washington do this? When did the New Deal get passed? If you take Spanish, you need to know Spanish vocabulary words and grammar. It's pure material. So the real issue is that you want to do two things. First, you want to pick the ones that are easiest for you. Pretty much every college requires two of these things, and there's certain ways that you can opt out. Some schools take APs instead of SAT subject tests. Some schools don't require them at all. You want to look at your schools and figure out what they require so you make sure you get everything you need. But once you figure that out, take the easiest tests possible for you. If you're amazing at math and you're amazing at Spanish, take math and Spanish and get the highest scores. What you really need to understand is that the SAT subject tests don't really keep you out of schools the way that ACT and SAT1 scores do. They get you in. So you can have pretty crappy um, SAT subject test scores and it won't really hurt you. But if you have amazing scores, then they can really help you out, especially if it backs up a story. So if you're saying that you want to be a creative writer when you're older, or, you know, a novelist or a journalist, having high SAT subject test literature scores is going to be a big boon to your application. So pick the test that you'll do well on, not the ones that quote unquote look impressive. Just pick easy tests. And second, plan ahead and start studying for them as soon as you can. Basically, there's no new strategies to learn, and if you're picking stuff you're already good at, then you're already going to be pretty good at it. You don't need to learn that much. All the material you need, all the facts you need to know are all published. You can get the official guidebooks, check out what you need to know, but you need to start early because if all of a sudden it's your senior fall and you still have to take the ACT and you have to take two subject tests, that's a nightmare. But if you just do it your sophomore or junior year, spend 10 minutes a day studying the random facts or vocab words you need and then knock them out, you're going to be finished. So that's really all there is to it. Start early, pick the ones that are easiest for you, make sure that you're taking the ones that the colleges you're applying to require, and this is going to be a really simple process.